New UI updates are available for everyone who updated Photoshop or downloaded Photoshop Beta. And in this video, we find out how those updates really influence on the editing result. So I would like to change ratio on my photo from horizontal to vertical for uploading in Instagram. But Lightroom Classic doesn't allow me to make this change without cropping a huge part of photo. So open photo in Photoshop, I click with right mouse button on the photo and choose edit in, edit in Photoshop. Here we need to choose a prop tool and set up 4 to 5 ratio. And on the top menu bar, choose generative expand. Generative Expand is not a new feature in Photoshop, but this will help us to see the difference between generating capabilities in Photoshop and in Photoshop Beta. So just drag by the borders to cover the whole picture in the new frame. And when you press Enter, you will see the Generative Expand window will appear. Here you can type the prompt, what you would like to see on new areas of the photo. But I will recommend you to leave this window empty and just press Generate button. Wait when Photoshop will generate new parts of the photo. And here we can see really nice results, except the new generated parts of the photo have very very bad quality, the line between the original photo and new parts are very visible and all details look pixelated or blurred. Unfortunately, in Photoshop we can only leave a feedback of the new generated parts and no possibilities of increasing the quality. At this stage, let's switch to Photoshop Beta and see what editing results it allows us to reach. Unfortunately, it's not possible to make from Lightroom Classic by choosing Edit in, Edit in Photoshop Beta, so we need to export the photo from Lightroom Classic, open Photoshop Beta and drag and drop the photo. Inside of Photoshop Beta, everything looks just the same, only the one title is a bit different. So let's repeat the same actions by choosing Crop Tool, Setup, 4 to 5 Ratio, and drag by the borders to cover the whole photo in the new frame. From the top menu bar, choose Generative Expand and click on the check icon. It will start automatically generate a new parts of the photo, comparing to Photoshop where we need to click Generate button to initiate the process. And this is a result that Photoshop Beta provides us with. In my opinion, those options are a bit more creative, which includes more additional details on the background but if we will zoom in the photo, we will see the same harsh line between the original photo and new generated parts. And here is where new AI updates come to the rescue, because here you can see near each generated option two icons, and left icon allows us to increase the details on the new generated parts, become more closer to more realistic results, and get rid of the harsh line between original photo and generated part. So here you can see the results of Generative Expand in Photoshop and Photoshop Beta. And click next video to see what else you can do with updated Generative Fill feature.